In Japan, there's a chilling true story about a doll named Okiku that continues to terrify people to this day. In 1918, a young boy named Aikichi Suzuki bought a beautiful doll for his two-year-old sister, Okiku, while visiting Sapporo. The doll had traditional Japanese features with black hair and a kimono. Okiku loved the doll dearly and played with it every day. Tragically, the little girl fell ill and died the following year. To honor her memory, her grieving family placed the doll in a shrine. Soon after, strange things began to happen. The doll's hair, originally cut short, started to grow. The family, believing that the spirit of Okiku had inhabited the doll, regularly trimmed its hair, but it continued to grow back. In 1938, when the Suzuki family moved, they felt they could not take the doll with them, so they entrusted it to the Mananji Temple in Hokkaido. The monks at the temple also witnessed the doll's hair growing and have kept it ever since, trimming its hair when it gets too long. The doll, now known as the Okiku doll, remains in the temple, drawing curious visitors who come to see this eerie phenomenon. <laughs>